everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to move an object using keyframe in CapCut let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in CapCut I want you to click the sign up option from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to move an object such as an image or even a video clip using keyframes in CapCut PC, it's very easy. You just have to follow these simple steps. All right. Of course, you need to launch the CapCut PC and then click the create a new project if you want to begin your work and start from scratch. But if you have already an existing project, just click this button. Now, keyframes allows you to create custom movement and transformations over time because these methods give you full control over the position, scale, rotation, and other properties of the object. Now, for us to be able to move anything here in this section, I'm going to add one image for us to move to create the movement effect by dragging to our timeline. You see this? And then from here as you can see the image is gonna be like this i'm gonna resize it so we can see it move it from the very beginning which is gonna be in the middle so this playhead right here move it at the very beginning make sure you select the photo and then the first is gonna be creating the first keyframe click this add keyframe on the top right corner under basic transform click on it you would notice that there had been like a small diamond on the very beginning and then we're gonna make sure to move the playhead to our decide desired location and then i'm going to drag this to the bottom and then add another keyframe all right so i have now two keyframes and then with that being placed I'm going to drag this image again at the very top and click the add keyframe with the diamond button. And then from there, I'm going to drag again the playhead and make sure this time the image moves around in the right side corner. Click the diamond button and I'm going to drag this again and then place this image on the left side. All right. And then finally, we're going to make sure that this image becomes like this, covering all the section. And then the last part is going to be creating a smaller render. And then the last part is going to be creating like this. Very, very uh, small. I'm going to position this one right here. Make it very, very small. All right. And then clip. Now, if we click the uh, playthrough right here, we will notice that we were able to create a movement effect with the object in place. All right. Which gives depth and creativity to our already cohesive video here in CapCut. It's very easy, really. And then from here, click the export button on the top right corner to d save it to different file formats or maybe save it, send it to your client for feedback. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.